did I know that I have a covalent network substance? The word network means lots of connections. This means that there are an unlimited number of atoms which are sharing electrons in a covalent bond and they are found in a giant structure. The visual representation of this is shown here. You need to know this diagram for your exam. The types of elements which make up that compound are not enough to tell us the type of bonds in which it exists. This is where we have to look at the properties of bonding. We first look at the physical properties of that compound. That's how they look. And what we're focusing on is the state of matter that that compound exists at room temperature. Is it a solid? Is it a liquid? Or is it a gas? We then focus on the chemical properties. That's how an element or a compound behaves. The two experiments that we can do to identify how that substance behaves is looking at conductivity and looking at solubility. We already know that a covalent bond is the sharing of a pair of electrons. Non-metal elements tend to form covalent bonds. Those are elements that are found on the right hand side of the periodic table. The three elements that exist as covalent networks are boron, carbon and silicon. The way I like to remember this is it's the cosy corner. They are in the corner of the staircase which separates the metal elements from the non-metal elements. All covalent network substances exist as a solid at room temperature. They have high melting points and boiling points and this is because the strong covalent bonds are needing to be broken. The energy required to break those bonds is great. Covalent network substances can never conduct electricity. This is because the electrons are not free to move. They are fixed in a covalent bond. The last property we look at is solubility. Solubility is the ability of a substance, which is normally known as a solute, to dissolve in a solvent, which is usually a liquid. If it is able to dissolve, we say that the substance is soluble. And if it is unable to dissolve, we say that the substance is insoluble. Covalent networks such as diamonds, which is carbon, never dissolve in water. Think about it. If you had a diamond ring and you were to wash the dishes, would your diamond disappear? No. This is a great way to help you remember that covalent networks never dissolve in water. This past paper question is from the National 5 2018 Multiple Choice 6. Which line in the table shows the properties of a covalent network compound? So, the first thing that we want to do is we want to read the table backwards. Covalent substances never conduct electricity. That is because conductivity is the flow of charged particles. In a covalent bond, the charged particles are the electrons. Remember, the electrons are fixed in a bond, which means they are unable to move. So at the moment, the on only potential answers that a covalent network could be would be A and D. A covalent network, network, tells us that there's lots of atoms that are joined together. We know that these bonds, these covalent bonds, are extremely strong. These are the bonds that have to be broken. Because those bonds are extremely strong, the energy required to break those is greater, which tells us that covalent networks have a high melting point and boiling point. So the correct answer to this question is multiple choice answer D. This question is from the National 5 2015 Multiple Choice 6. Which of the following diagrams could be used to represent the structure of a covalent network? Remember, the word network means lots of connections. This means that there are an unlimited number of atoms which are sharing electrons in a giant structure. The diagram which represents this is multiple choice answer D. 